Okay, so Krivas asked me to narrate this, so I will. Let's start. Let's say you've got a good-looking Krogan game model that you imported into UE4. Heh. <laughs> he is really good-looking. Best Krogan. And now you want to turn the lower arm and... No. What Solarian turd is this? Unacceptable. But there is a solution. Open your control ring. After your AK nodes for the body part, and a twist bone node. You humans didn't write down how to use it anywhere. I looked weak, but Clan or Mud figured out how to use it. And I will show you. Drag from the items pin to the left and go to Collections Items. Now populate the item list by clicking on the plus icon. If you don't need an item, right-click on its left side pen and remove it. Item 0 must be the thing that you want to drive the twist with. In this case, the wrist control can also just be some other bone or maybe the skull of your enemy. <laughs> Items 1 to whatever will be the twist bones. Begin with the one closest to the thing that drives the twist. So in this case, we'll start at the wrist and work up the arm in reverse order. Just like this. You will need to figure out the twist and the pull axis. Since this is a game model that wasn't re-rigged from scratch and isn't made with the UE4 mannequin rig in mind, it took some experimenting to find the right values here. Usually you're looking for either a 1 or a minus 1 value on one of the axes in each group. The cubic interpolation works pretty good. Linear didn't work so well for me here. We actually lost some warriors because of it, so be careful. The weight controls how much influence the Twist Master has onto his clan. A weight of one will rotate all the Twist Bonds identically to their Battle Master. That's a bad idea. It will break your arms, so set it to something lower and experiment. And then try it out. Another problem solved by Clan Erdmott. That's it for now.